Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult fans of LEGO and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at a LEGO architecture set. This is the Sydney Skyline. Uh, the set is uh, recommended for ages 12 and up and consists of 361 pieces. It's set number 21032. Let's go ahead and crack it open, build it up, and see what we think. And like most of the architecture sets, the instruction manual for this one is a bit different than a typical LEGO set. It is nicely bound, it's nice and thick, um, and in some ways it acts as a little bit of a coffee table book. Um, there are some really beautiful photography inside uh, and brief descriptions of the photographs, so um, this is just a, a general take on the Sydney skyline, and then it goes into individual structures that are on the skyline. So this, of course, is the Sydney Opera House. Um, and we have the Harbor Bridge, uh, and then the Sydney Tower, which is this guy here, and then uh, the Deutsche Bank building, which is that kind of uh, sloped building there. And then they do the same thing in different languages. Um, and then you don't get into the instructions until about here. And then, you know, these are done up on a black background, which makes them a little bit harder to read, but it's a, a nice aesthetic. Um, anyway, so that is the, uh, the booklet instructions that come with this particular set. All right, and here we have it, Sydney, Australia. Uh, this, again, is set number 21032 consisting of 361 pieces. One of the unique things about these Skyline sets is all of these buildings, while not necessarily in the correct place geographically, they are in relative scale to each other. So the top of the Deutsche Bank building, the, the top spire here, uh, in comparison to the top of the um, uh, Sydney Tower, is relatively correct as far as scale goes. Um, so the, the top of the Sydney Tower reaches just over a thousand feet. I think it's about a thousand fourteen feet, something like that, from floor to the tip of the tower. And it's about 790 feet on the Deutsche Bank Tower. Um, so just to give you an idea, this, the scale is pretty close. And again, as, as we go along the line here, um, we have the, the Sydney Tower, which is, um, you know, similar buildings are seen around the world, basically observation towers. The unique thing about this, because of its geographical location in Australia, if you were up here in the observation tower all day from the beginning uh, of the day from sunrise to sunset, uh, you could be the first person in the world to see the sunrise and sun the first person to see it set. Um, just kind of an interesting little bit of trivia there. This was kind of an interesting build. Uh, I'm going to take this off here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, we have these windows represented by trans blue, trans dark blue pieces, and then dark blue bricks. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of an interesting look. You can kind of see just the reflection in the lighting there, um, but it's a, it's a good look. I like what they did with that. Uh, it works out nicely. Um, up in front, most prominently, of course, is the Sydney Opera House. Uh, this opened in 1973, um, and it is one of the most famous buildings, architecturally speaking, in the world. They did a nice job with this, and you may have seen other videos that I've done with the larger scale architecture building of uh, the Sydney Opera House. Um, so that's kind of interesting. This is the uh, Deutsche Bank Place. This is a relatively narrow building, but pretty tall, and it's just kind of unique architecture. It is kind of a stair-stepped building, but then they have um, the steel structure around it to give it more of a more of an angle rather than a stair-step look uh, from a distance. Down over here we have the Sydney Harbor Bridge, which is this large arc bridge, and then down here we have these tooth pieces that are designed to look uh, like sailboats crossing the harbor. Um, it's nicely done. Um, this actual bridge, it's a 160 foot span, so it's fairly wide. And uh, apparently it's the longest uh, bridge of its type in the world at this point. So anyway, there's only the four structures in this particular model. A lot of the uh, architecture sets have five or six different, uh, uh, different 
buildings or locations represented. This one only has a few, but they're large. It's a, kind of a fun build. A lot of these pieces down here for the uh, the water, these trans blue pieces, which is kind of nice to get. And then uh, we got some dark green to represent some grass back here at the edge of the, the bridge. Um, and then, you know, some light gray tiles to represent concrete. Uh, a few unique colors, some nice pieces. Um, this dark blue is kind of uncommon, at least in my experience. It's a, a nice skyline, and I am happy to have added this as part of the collection. Um, this set retails for about $30 um, in the U.S., which is pretty typical for these skyline sets. Some of them are up to about $50 now at retail, and then they can go for substantially more than that in the aftermarket. I'm not sure if this one's still available through LEGO or not, um, but uh, you might check them out. Otherwise, BrickLink or eBay are your best bets. Anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.